Hello, I'm Adam Grimes with MarketLifeTrading.com, and this is being recorded for June 28th, 2019. This is the last trading day of the quarter, last trading day of the first half of the year. And I do want to point out that we have what I think is a pretty bullish setup in the index. I'm going to show you a long setup in stocks, um, but we do need to think the overall context, the markets held together. We had an opportunity for the bears to really take control. They couldn't take control. If you look at the Russell, this is even more interesting here, right? Pretty good upside extension. We're around the moving average, but this is a sign of life from the smaller caps. We haven't seen this in a while, and we just want to see if that extends. You know, I may be wrong. I'm leaning pretty heavily bullish. Um, that may turn out to be the wrong trade, but if I'm wrong, this is the way I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong with the probabilities on my side. Yeah, and the probabilities in this case are to the upside. So we need to see how this resolves. Uh, the trade that we made today that I think has a lot of potential, it's not a terribly exciting trading site, but here's McDonald's, long consolidation. You can see here, this line on the weekly chart shows the performance relative to the S&P. It's been a market leading stock. It is a quiet stock, it is a boring stock. It's not nearly as exciting as some of the names people talk about. There's not a lot of exciting news, but look it's an exciting pattern it's a bullish pattern it's going to grind it's unlikely to explode to the upside also if the trade is wrong it's unlikely to really hurt you with a gigantic gap down anything's possible it's unlikely but like the idea of buying mcdonald's either here on a breakout higher your stop is clearly somewhere above 200 could even be maybe 202 203 would be pretty tight i'd look to take first profits figure you get five points out of it that's a pretty good first profit target roughly you, and you can work with that buy the stock buy a call spread options are pretty easy to trade in this name so it's definitely worth looking at a uh, little currency trade here so if we look at the yen we've been we've had a number of shorts here and i'm speaking of the charts this is actually long yen because the yen's quoted on the bottom but we had these shorts and it looked like maybe we were setting up another short um, the four hour chart though has gotten enough strength that i think we can look to buy whether you buy the the pair here or whether you buy some of the yen crosses there's enough lower time frame momentum that you can look at trading the other side Okay, that's all I have for you here. I'll see you back over the weekend. Next week is a shortened holiday week, so plan for that. Uh, if you like my work, I'd appreciate a like on the video. Tell everybody about it. Subscribe to the channel. You can see more of my work on my blog at adamhgrimes.com. You also should follow me on Twitter at Adam H. Grimes. Thank you very much.